Hello, everyone. I know it's been a while, but welcome back. Um, I am back, and because it's been so long, I've decided I'm going to put a full flow out for you. Um, it's a typical Sarah style flow, so we will be moving uh, around the mat. So in that case, put your TV or put your screens kind of on the length ways so you can always see me. You may need some blocks depending on the flexibility in the hip flexors, particularly in the inner thighs as well. Take it as easy or as hard as you want. We are gonna progress through rounds, so it's gonna get slightly more challenging each round, but you can always stay with the first options that I gave you. We will be working our way into King Pigeon. If that's your jam, fabulous. If not, I'll give you a different option as well. So. We're gonna start off in a child's pose, please. So coming down into that child's pose, letting the palms just come out in front of you. Crown of the head comes down, knees nice and wide, toes touching. Close the eyes and just bring the awareness, the sensations into this moment. So feeling the floor beneath you, that slight pressure upon the hips, upon the hands. Maybe that little lengthening of the back of the body. And then slowly just become attuned with the breath. Notice the ease of the breath today. Notice the rhythm of it. Just watching the inhales and that kind of uplift of energy they bring. And then noticing the exhales and this fall in this grounding sensation. Taking one more big deep breath. And then finally grounding through the palms. You can keep eyes closed as you inhale. We're coming into rolling cat and cow. So arc through the spine and push the weight in towards the palms. The exhale, we drop in the belly, we lift in the chest and we're making that slow roll all the way back towards the child's pose. Taking a few more like that, the inhales to pull you forward, finding that arc in. The exhales, that opening of the front line and slowly taking it back, perfect. Give me two more, in your own breath, at your own pace. And just see it as that first kind of conversation with the body, noticing what needs to be unstuck. Perfect. And then slowly. The next time you're gonna roll forward, we're gonna find it into our first cobra. So slowly drop the hips, soften the elbows, pull the chest through the gates of the arms, take a big breath. Exhale, lowering the chest towards the floor. Hands come out wide, high up on the fingertips, elbows high. Now using the back line of the body as you inhale, lift in the chest up. The exhale, we're gonna drop the right shoulder in towards the midline, gaze towards the left. Perfect. The inhale to roll back, to lengthen, activate in the back. The exhale, left shoulder comes down, slowly drop in. One more each side. The breath in, we're rising, creating space on the front. The exhale, right shoulder drops, finding that little opening across the front of the chest, maybe the shoulder. One more time, slowly switching it. Left shoulder comes down. Perfect. Now inhale, bring it back through center. Take a little bit of a pause. Imagine pulling the fingertips back towards the waist. Big breath. And then exhale, slowly release. Hands underneath the shoulders. And then we're gonna slowly take it back to our child's pose just as a transition. So from here, as the butt reaches the heels, roll the hands back towards the knees. Once you lift your chest, right arm comes down, left arm goes high. So a big circle sweep, opening through the left hand side. And then as you exhale, we're gonna turn the chest, drag that left arm across the front of the mat, Send the right arm all the way up, perfect. Taking two more of those, so super nice and slow, getting into the sides of the body. Noticing the lengthening, maybe the connections between the sides of the body and the hips. Taking it over towards the left-hand side, perfect. And now just return towards the right-hand side. So right arm comes down, left arm goes high, big breath. 
From here, we're going to bring the left hand behind you, grabbing hold of the neck. And come up through center and bring the right arm behind you. So cow face pose. Option, hand can be on the neck. You can grab hold of a t-shirt. If you want to grab a strap, feel free. If you've got the full bind, you can take the full bind. But wherever you are, inhale. Send the left elbow up, right elbow back. Open the chest. Exhale to round. Push the back of the heart in towards the hands and tuck through the tailbone. Two more, the breath in to open up, to lengthen, find space in the front of the body. The exhale to round, finding that space, that conversation with the back of the body. One more time. Big breath in, sending it up high. Big breath out, we're rounding, tucking the pelvis to pull down. Now this time as you inhale, left elbow go high, we're going to switch. Bring the left hand down next to the left hip. Send that right arm up and over. So lengthening through the right. Right hand drops behind of the neck. Keep that right elbow close towards you. And then we're slowly going to sneak that left hand behind. You're grabbing the t-shirt, the bra, even finding that full bind. Three pulses. Inhale, open the chest up, look up. The exhale to round, pull it all the way down. Two more times, big breath in, sending it up high, finding space in the front. The breath out, that round in the torque and of the pelvis, last one. Big breath in, send it all the way up. Exhale, finding space in the back of the body, round in here. And then slowly releasing, we're going to pull the hands out in front of you, coming into your all fours. Push the weight into the palms, tuck the toes under, send the seat back towards the heels, come into your first downward dog today, so feel free as always to just get acquainted with it, give yourself a few little pedals, a few little steps, amazing. And then when you're ready, just find a little bit of stillness, we'll get into the hamstrings a little bit, so inhale, just come high up on the toes. And then exhale, push the heels towards the floor as you send your chest back towards the thighs. Two more like that, matching the breath with the movement. The inhale, pull you forward. The exhale to soften and take it down. One more time, big breath in, send it up. Big breath out, heels towards the floor, take a minute. Get that feeling of just suspension in the body. Take one more breath. Perfect. Warm up around on the right hand side so right leg goes high towards the sky. Keep everything square for now. Keep pushing that right heel back into space. Take a big breath. As you breathe out, pull that knee in towards the nose. No messing around today. Step the right foot in between the hands. Left knee is going to come down on the floor. You can keep the toes tucked or untucked. It's up to you. We're going to send the arms high, coming into a low lunge. First low lunge, so give yourself a little bit of a pulse, just getting into that left-hand side of the hip. And then from here, we're going to repeat a few movements we've already done. So arms go high towards the sky, big breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to drop the right arm down to the hip, to the floor, or to a block, and send the left arm up and over. I know it feels so good, right? So think of just releasing in towards that left hip flexor. Take a big breath. As you breathe out, we're switching the sides. That circle sweep we've done before, left arm comes down, right arm goes all the way up and over, leaning back and opening through the opposite side. One more time, so we're switching, we're rounding, we're finding that curvature of the spine to bring the right arm down, left arm goes high, hold it here, like we did on the ground, left hand behind the head, right hand comes behind you, push up and away in towards a nice active lunge here, so finding that cow face like we've done before, the inhale, open the chest, sink the lunge down low. The exhale, push back onto the left foot, round through the spine, tuck the pelvis, find that extra sensation on the left hip. Two more, the breath in to open up, to sink low. The breath out to round, to find that active stretch. One more time, big inhale, sending it up. Big exhale to round, perfect. From here, we're just going to release the arms. Bring that left hand out, left elbow, sorry, outside of the right knee. Bring the hands in towards your heart. Find that prayer twist. 
I know, we're going everywhere today, trust me. Good. Tuck the back toes under, look forward. Lift the left knee off the floor. Keep the weight reaching forward. We're going to release the twist, bring the hands to the floor. Think little baby warrior three. So square in the hips down low, getting that load in on that right leg. Good. Flex in the back toes, you got it. Core nice and tight, maybe the hands float all the way up and out. Good, little bit of activation. On your next breath in, send your left foot next to the right, and then slowly fold, forward, forward. Forward, fold, God, that was a mouthful. And hang it out there. Take a minute, take a breath. Let the upper body just drape over the lower body. Amazing. And then soften through the knees, slowly begin to rise. We're rippling and rolling the spine as we come up. Arms go high, big breath in. As you breathe out, pull the hands in towards your heart, close your eyes and just take a second. Take a breath. Maybe noticing the stirrings of energies where the mind likes to wander. Coming into the second side. One salutation to get us down. So inhale, raise the arms up, gaze towards the thumbs. Exhaling, folding forward, bring the hands towards the floor. Inhale, look forward, flatten through the back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to your downward dog. If you want to take a full vinyasa there, please feel free. It's your practice. Good. If you want to chill out in that downward dog like me, keep chilling out. Good, now left hand side, left leg goes high, squaring through the hips, pushing that left heel back into space. Wait for your exhale to draw the knee in towards the nose, rounding through that spine and that delicate step forward. Right knee softens towards the floor, we send our arms up, we're coming into first low lunge on the left. So again, just find a few little pulses, Checking in with that right hip flexor, noticing how it feels this morning or this evening, whenever you're doing this. And then slowly drop the hips, raise the arms all the way up, big breath. As you breathe out, we're gonna drop the left arm first, either to the hip, to the block, to the floor, send the right arm up and over. Notice that lengthening on the side of the right hip. Take an inhale, lean back slightly. The exhale, we're going to round, switching the sides. Right arm comes down, left arm goes high. Good. Big breath. One more transition to the opposite side, so making it as fluid as possible. Left arm down, right arm goes all the way up and over. Take a pause there. Right hand drops behind the head. Try and keep the bicep close to the ears as we push up back into our cow face arm. So again, hands can just grab whatever they want at the back of you. Tuck the back toes, take an inhale. So open the chest up, find a little back bend. The exhale, we're gonna think of pulling that left heel, right knee in towards each other, scooping the pelvis, rounding, getting that active stretch for that right hip. The inhale, sink it low, open it out. The exhale, that active stretch, that rounding through the spine. One more time, big breath in, sending it up. Big breath out, we're rounding, we're holding it there, pushing through the right big toe. And then we're gonna release that right elbow outside of that left knee, coming into the prayer twist. So pushing that elbow to the knee, making space around the rib cage, good. Find stability in that left foot. We're gonna look down towards the floor, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee off the floor, good. Looking forward, find that grounding of that left leg. Hands are gonna sweep forward, square the hips, float that right leg. It's not a standing split, it's a mini warrior three. So we're activating through that left leg. If you wanna reach the arms out already, feel free. If not, holding it there, breathing. Take one more big breath. And then slowly, we're gonna release, hands to the floor. Left foot steps back, coming into a downward dog. Let's all take a vinyasa this time. So high up on the toes, rippling it forward. The exhale, knees, chin and chest, or full chaturanga as you lower. The inhale to lift the heart up. The exhale, slowly take it back, downward facing, perfect. So, warm up rounds done. 
Now we're coming into the main flow, which we're gonna repeat two times on each leg. So when you are ready, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good, right leg, high towards the sky, big breath in. The breath out, knee towards the nose, that slow step forward. Right foot in between the hands. Now as the right foot plants, think of just slowly reaching forward. Keep shifting the weight forward. As you reach forward, we're bringing that left knee in towards our chest, big breath. The breath out, twist towards the left, right hand outside of that left knee. Good, just a little bit of a pause, try and drop that left hip. The inhale, bring it back through center. The exhale, traveling back past that warrior three to take a big step back with that left foot. Left heel drops, windmill the arms, coming into your first Virabhadrasana two. So take a minute to set the foundation to push the weight on the outside of that right foot. When you're ready, find a little bit of stillness. Palms come out wide, soften through the shoulders. Inhale, drop the back arm, send that right arm up and over. The exhale, we're gonna circle sweep, draw in that right elbow towards that right knee as the left arm goes up into side angle. One more time like that, big breath in. Sending it back, finding the reverse. The exhale, rounding, reaching forward towards that side angle. Take a second there. So first time here, imagine pulling the glutes underneath the pelvis, tucking it under. And before we move, we're gonna take that left arm and wrap it behind you. So we've got this half bind. If you can grab hold of that right knee, awesome. Not right knee, right thigh even. And then from here, keep the knee bent. We've gotta come back into that reverse, send that left arm up, right arm up. And as it comes up straight in the right leg, Bring the right hand behind the head, cow face, I know. Flex the right toes and turn the right toes all the way to center. Take a big breath in here. The breath out, hinging from the hips, keep the bind and begin to fold forward with that flat back. So as soon as the black back begins to round, you wanna hold it in whatever depth that is. If you can get all the way down, then fabulous, congratulations. Breathe in there, weight in towards the toes, take a second. Taking one more breath. And then slowly release the hands to the floor, halfway lift. We're gonna turn the toes out, heels in, and just slowly begin to bend left and right. So just getting into the hips slightly. Good. Think Skandasana, but not fully. We want to be lazy today, right? We want to just go with the movements. Perfect. And then the next time you move to the left. So move into the back of the mat. Square the hips to the left. We're going to drop the right knee. We're going to send the arms all the way up. Big breath. We're going to take right arm forward, left arm back. So finding an open twist here. Your inhale, left hand to the left hip or to the floor as the right arm goes high. The exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm goes high and then we're gonna visit a half split so slowly straighten the left leg to come back. Good, the inhale, bend the left knee, reach as far forward as you can. Let that left arm lead you all the way back to that twisted reverse. Two more times, super nice and slow, right arm down, left arm high. That circle back, get a little bit into the hamstrings. The inhale to bend the knee, left arm lead you all the way into that reverse. One more time, super nice and slow. If there's any bits where you're like, Sarah, I wanna repeat this, I wanna hold in my half split, do whatever you want to, yeah? For me, I'm gonna find that little bit of a reverse and I'm gonna hold it there. Good. Take one more breath in stillness or in movement. And then as you exhale, I'm gonna bring right arm down. I'm gonna heel toe that left foot out towards the left and I'm gonna slowly sink in towards it. So left hand can push inside of that left thigh. I did a workout this morning and this is actual torture for me. So <laughs> if you're like Sarah, 
I don't feel as bendy today. I'm totally in it with you, eh? <laughs> Take a few more breaths. If you are feeling bendy and you want to drop down onto your right elbow, you can. Good. I think I'm just going to square the shoulders for this one. Again, it's all about just making these little alterations for your body. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. And then slowly walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Now keep the right knee on the floor. We're going to take it to a baby wild lift thing. So left foot turns back. Left foot steps over the right, send that left arm all the way up and over. A squeeze of the glutes, maybe a little bit of a rotation with that left arm. Ah, oh, feels good, right? One more big breath. And then as you breathe out, slowly flip it over towards your downward dog or your child's pose. So taking a pause, just an extra breath. Giving yourself time to just come back to a breath that feels stabilizing. And even to an attitude of just acceptance. And then when you're ready, coming on to the left hand side. So coming back into that downward facing dog. Beautiful. Keep that right knee soft as you send your left leg all the way up. Use your exhale, knee towards the nose, round through the spine. Left foot steps forward. Now, as it steps forward, still carry on that trajectory forward. We're reaching forward onto that left foot. We're pulling that right knee in towards our chest. Inhale. Exhale, twist towards the right. Left hand outside of the right knee. Drop that right hip down into space. Good. Inhale, bring it back through center. Traveling past your warrior three, any variation with the arms. Big bend in the left knee to send the right foot back. Right heel on the floor, open it up into your Virabhadrasana two. So again, first time here, hips might feel a little bit warmer, but just a few slight bends into the leg. Good, once you've found that stability, ground through the feet, send the arms all the way out to a two. Right arm drop, left arm goes high, big breath. As you breathe out, coming into that side angle pose, left hand to the knee, right arm reaches up and over. Imagine it in a loop, so we're doing it once more. We're sending it to that reverse, staying strong in that left leg. We're rounding, reaching forward, right arm reaches forward. Take a second there, one long line, right fingertips to the heel. And now everyone with that right hand, we're coming into that half bind, we're taking the right arm behind you, either up the back or resting it on the left thigh. Keep the legs strong, inhale, left arm sweeps all the way up, straight in the left leg. Left hand comes behind you, either full cow face arms or any variation. Flex the left toes, turn the toes towards the left, big breath in. As you breathe out, we begin to fold. So again, we're using the pressure of the arms to keep that spine nice and flat as we come all the way down. Good. Try and lead with the elbows. Keep that left elbow in towards the ear. Most importantly, breathe. Way in towards the toes. Good. One more big breath. And then slowly release. Hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Turn the toes out. We're coming into those little mini skandasanas, right? So for me in these ones, because I'm low, I like to keep both feet grounded on the floor just so I can feel a little bit more sensations for my inner thighs. Perfect. So next time, you bend towards the right. We're going to square the hips back to the front of the mat. Left hip comes down, arms go high, big breath in. As you breathe out, left arm forward, twist towards that right knee, find that open twist. The inhale, right hand drops to the hip or to the back thigh as you send your left arm up. The exhale, left hand to the floor, right arm goes high. Finding that half split variation, so straightening through that right leg. So imagine we just go on this continuous cycle, the knee bends, the right arm reaches back. We're finding that twist in reverse one more time. 
And then the left arm comes down. As the right arm reaches, we circle him back into that half split. One more time. Again, feel free to just move or hold anything that feels good for you today. I'm going to stay right here because this feels glorious. Good. Take him one more. Big, deep breath. And then left hand's going to come down. We're going to take that right foot across the mat slightly. Right hand to the inside of that right foot, leaning back. Again, I'm not going to go too far in this one today. For me, it feels really good today to square myself off. For you, it might feel good leaning back. It might feel good on your forearms. Again, you know best. I am here only to guide you. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. And then slowly, hands back underneath the shoulders. I'm going to keep the left knee down, take it into a baby wild thing. So right foot scoots back and behind you. Turn the left toes to the left. Open up the chest, lean back, squeeze in the glutes. If you just heard my sternum, it did indeed crack and that felt fabulous. <laughs> you can circle the top arm. You can stay in stillness if you want. One more breath. And then slowly flip it back into our downward dog. So last round on the right, same flow. We're just taking it up a little notch. So when you are with me, right leg high towards the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip this round. Maybe send your gaze underneath that right armpit. Good. Big breath, knee in towards the nose, that round. See how fluidly you can transition. Right foot steps, we keep that trajectory. We're pushing off that right heel, left knee in towards your chest, inhale. Option, right hand to the knee or to the outside of the foot, finding whichever twist variation. Wherever you are, pull the inner thighs in towards the midline. Try and get that twist in the upper body. Perfect. Inhale, hands back through center. The exhale, traveling past our warrior three, as slow and controlled as you can. Left foot drops, windmill the arms coming in, in. Vera Badrasana two. Good. We're going to mix it up a little bit in a second. So from here, hands come out wide. The inhale, we find the reverse. We drop the left arm, send the right arm high. The exhale, we transition to the side angle, maybe right hand to the floor on this round. Yes, one more time, big breath in. Find that reverse, strength through the legs. The exhale, that rounding in towards that side angle as the left arm goes up, tuck the glutes under, lean back, perfect. Left hand wraps behind you towards the right thigh. Stay strong through that front leg. I know you want to straighten it. Push through the heel. Right arm goes all the way up. This time, straighten the leg straight away. Flex the toes. Twist towards the side of the mat. Bring the right arm down and send that left arm up towards the sky for a twist. Oh, it feels so good, right? Big breath in. As you breathe out, left hand to the right ankle. Bend into the knee, sink it low. Two more, the breath in to unravel, to find space to the left. The exhale, the bend into that right leg. One more time, big breath in, send it up. The breath out, bending into the right knee. Now this time, as you unravel, we turn towards the left toes. We bring the right knee on the floor, we send the arms all the way up, inhaling. The exhale, finding that open twist to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Your next breath in. Drop the back arm, send that right arm up towards the sky. The breath out, right hand comes down, left arm goes up. Circling back, straightening through that left leg. We've been here before, so just have fun with it. Move slow, move at a tempo that feels good that feels controlled, that feels connected to the body. Perfect, one more time, super nice and slow. We're pulling it forward. We're finding that reverse, option to hold it here, option to hold in that half split, wherever you are. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. 
and then slowly. Both hands windmill to the floor. We're going to tuck the back toes, lift the hips slightly, and sneak that left foot in towards that right thigh. So active pigeon pose. I don't want it super externally rotated. We still want the hips square. So first round, think about your right knee and left knee, pulling in towards each other to find height. So here's where the option comes. If you're like, Sarah, I'm done. I just want to hang out in a pigeon pose. Go for it. <laughs> if you want something a little bit more, lift the chest. So again, we're finding that lift, that square, and you'll feel it in the back hip. Option, left hand to the floor or to a block if you've got short arms like me. Right hand can come back towards the foot. So we can pull the foot in towards the glutes to get into the quad. Notice the right shoulder as it's opening to the right. Try and close it towards the front. Now, if you want a little bit more, we can sneak your right foot in towards your right elbow. Push into the shin bone. Left arm could reach forward, option one. Option two, left hand back towards your right palm. If you have that bind, think of squaring everything towards the front of the mat or the back of the mat. <laughs> Good. One more big, deep breath. And then slowly, releasing the back foot. Hands come underneath, the last little bit, tuck the toes. Left leg's gonna shoot back behind you. You're gonna bend the knee, open up the hip, coming into your wild thing. I know, good. Push through the legs, lengthen the chest towards what's near the front. And then slowly flip it all the way back and over. Your left leg should already be high and ready to go. Good, right? I know, it's like I planned this stuff. Bend the left knee. Whew, I need a breath. Good. Ah, ready, guys? Left knee in towards the nose. Round through the spine. Left foot steps forward. Push the weight into that left foot. So again, as you begin to lean forward, the chest lifts. That right knee comes in towards your chest. Left hand outside of the knee or grabbing hold of the outside of the foot. As you reach your right arm back, soften the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades down, find that twist in the upper back. Perfect. From here, arms go all the way up. The exhale, transitioning past that warrior three. So super nice and slow. Right foot's going to drop down. Right heel comes down. Open it up into your warrior two. So take a little mini minute. Arms come out wide. Finding the reverse. Dropping the back arm, send the left arm high. The exhale, the exhale, side angle, any variation, hand can come on the floor if you feel ready for it. Leaning back one more time, completing that circle, sending the left arm all the way back. And then left arm comes down to the floor of the knee, right arm reaches, leaning back, good. Right hand comes behind you, grab hold of the left thigh, ground through the feet, we're coming all the way up. Left arm comes up, straight in the left leg, flex in the left toes, so come high up on the heel, turn towards the wide side of the mat, left hand comes down in front of the nose, right arm goes high. God, it feels so good every time I do it. On your next exhale, right hand to the left ankle, pull it low. Two more. So using these repetitive movements to just drop back into the breath to regain that little bit of balance. Good. One more time. If you're wondering if it's hard doing this and speaking, yes, it is. <laughs> so next time, the right hand comes up. We're going to turn towards that right leg. Drop that left knee. Send your arms all the way up. Beautiful. Twist into the right, left arm forward, right arm back. The inhale, finding that reverse, dropping the back arm, send the left arm high. The exhale, left arm comes down, circling, finding that half split. You know where we're going two more times in your own breath, at your own pace, not worrying about what it looks like or getting it perfect, but instead just being with the sensations that come with these different types of movement, your last round here, holding it or moving just for the last few breaths. And then slowly release both hands, surround that right foot. 
right foot comes in, you can tuck the back toes, create a little bit of space to drop that right heel in towards the glutes. So we're here once more. So if you've had enough and you want to relax, please relax. If you want a little bit more for the back thigh and a little bit of a challenge, you can come with me by pushing into both knees. So left knee is pulling forward, right knee is pulling back. So we've got this active stance. The legs are working here. So option, right hand to the floor of the block for stability. Left hand can come back to the left foot. Perfect. If you want to stay here, put a block underneath that uh, right glute, feel free. If you come in with me, we can pull that right left foot, sorry, in towards the left elbow. Option one, right hand forward. Option two, right hand back towards the left fingertips. Use the strength of the legs here. Think of leaning back. Think of squaring the chest. We're breathing. We're holding for three, for two, and one. Slowly release. Last wild thing. Hands to the floor. Right leg sweeps all the way up and back. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Take a big breath. Push through the legs, rotating through the chest, up towards the sky. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, flip it over. Step the right foot to the middle of the mat. Bend the knees, drop the left foot through. Ah, oh, congratulations. We're on our seats and this is where we'll stay until the end. So just to release, we're going to come into... A forward fold, so soften the knees. Send the arms out along the sides of the legs and give yourself a round in the spine. Give yourself a little bit of a freedom to move. Because what we're going for here is not a super deep hamstring stretch, but instead, whatever's gonna feel like a good release for the back of the body. So chin can come to the chest. You can bring your head on a block to rest it if that feels good. Now I just want you to think heavy thoughts. Try and focus on the exhales here. Make the exhales twice as long as the inhales. And the shoulders relax. Feel the space that's spread across the shoulder blades. Every few seconds, every few breaths, just look for the pockets of tension. Places in which you can relax. Take just one more breath. And slowly keep the eyes closed. We're going to transition and roll all the way down onto our back. So you don't even have to do it controlled. Screw the core at this point. <laughs> Come all the way down and pull those knees in towards your chest. Ah, oh, feel the lengthening of the lower back on the floor. Feel the lengthening of just that natural curve as we push the lower back into the ground. I'm going to finish with a little itty bitty twist. So dropping the knees towards the right, gaze towards the left. Right hand can pop on top of the left knee. If you want to extend the left leg a little bit as well to get a little bit more for the sides of the body, even the lower back, feel free. Letting go of any control of the breath. And then bringing the knees back through center. Dropping them to the opposite side, knees to the left. Gaze towards the right. And just letting the body soften. You can extend the right leg if you wish. And 
And coming back through center, taking any final postures, anything that you feel like the body is kind of asking for. And then slowly just getting ready for your Shavasana. So take your time. This is where I will leave you. I hope you enjoyed the flow. And please take at least three minutes just for yourself to completely let go and completely surrender. <laughs>